So let me ask you this. How many of you do a daily method of operation in your business? Did you have some set aside time just to work your what kind of business on a daily basis? Is there anybody that does that? Answer it by uh, via chat. So you're on the morning calls and you do the Zooms. Now, how much of that time? Because let's, let me rephrase it then. Let's talk about money making activities. Although we definitely know that the morning calls help and they motivate. Let me ask you, do you want to hold on a second, guys? I'm going to read. Um, um, there's a very distinct difference in doing your business. There are our calls, there are our team calls, and those things keep you in the game. They inspire you and they motivate you. And all of those things are really important. But when it comes down to turning all of that into customers and money-making activities. Now, the money-making activities are actually you um, for customers or distributors. You share. So I'm looking, I'm going to be hearing the grace to that. So there is a difference in money-making activities and daily, you know, daily method of operation that has to have the money-making activities. Uh, I try to go on social media and post products and also follow up with my customers. Parent, let me ask you, that's a good, good thing um, that you're on social media because that will pay you back. Um, so are you actually, have you done the flat belly lifestyle? Have you done the 21 day plans? And Stephanie Williams, you know, guys, I'm going to change this call to a uh, meeting because I don't want to put you guys through. Not, not about, not about, um, not today, but I would like to interact more with you so that we can go through some Q&A, some questions, some role playing on this line. So, um, Stephanie Williams to host. I either read or check website about opportunities to network and follow up with current customers and potential. Oh my God. You can't hear me. Nobody can hear me. Here we go again. What is this? Guys, um, I was going to say. Okay. For some, I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Just let me know, Bernadine, or anybody, if you can't hear me. So my, my, my statement was that I am going to change this call into a meeting instead of a webinar so that we can interact on this call, because I would like to actually ask you questions and have you respond, and not just through the chat. So next week, that's probably what we'll do. So you guys can all hear me now. So Anna says she works her Facebook contacting and inviting also checking with persons to see if they are interested in three videos. I do that about an hour, then I start calling for the other two. If I have samples to get out, I get them mailed out and do follow up on other samples and calls. Great, uh, you definitely do. If you're gonna give a sample out, the, the fortune is always in the follow-up. Another thing, that is good when you're doing social media is people don't want to be sold a lot of times people want interaction and so sometimes just practice commenting to somebody's post making a comment you know if it's a health like it's the exercise page i was on a health uh, a workout group today and i just asked people what exercise do you prefer you know, just start having conversations with people, not so much about the product, just letting people, you know, um, get to know you. And when you do that and you get to know them or you contact or you make um, posts inquiring about something that they do or they like, 
because people want you to care about them. They don't want you to always sell. So get in the habit, guys, of uh, just going out and saying, I'm going to do 10 posts today. I'm going to go to respond to 10 people's posts today. And you know, each one of us get a uh, notice on whose birthday it is. You should go into Messenger, not just say happy birthday, but you should actually go into Messenger and say, hey, uh, Karen, I hear it's your birthday today. I hope you have a fantabulous day. Do a recording. That's special. You'll stand out. And people tend to remember things like that. Then you can start up a conversation. And eventually, you can talk to her or them, him, whoever, about what they're doing. Uh, if you are... You slack in social media, Stephanie. It is a gold mine out there in social media. And right now, during this time, people are ripe for doing and hearing about opportunities, about getting in better shape and better health. You know, they are looking for it. You know, so now is the time you should not sleep on the time of the year it is. See, if you've been in this industry any time, there are times that you know are busy seasons, choice times to do uh, work your business. Now is one of those times. During this time, people are beginning to get their, um, they are beginning to get their income tax, check, income tax checks back. And those are the things that they're interested in. They're looking for opportunity. In a minute, it's going to be like time for kids and vacation and school is out. And so their minds won't be as good as it is right now for opportunity. So Karen says, I also participate in pop-up shops with my business partners almost weekly. Great, uh, great uh, opportunity. That's another thing to keep the summer months going because you'll see pop-up shops, you'll see vendors, and this helps to learn more about the business and how to gain more customers. And now guys, anytime you're out there vending, anytime you give out any information, one of the main things you want to remember is to always get something back. So if you're giving away samples, like our sample pain cream, and that sample pain cream, guys, I'm just gonna tell you, that's a sale right there. I, I would I would pay ten dollars for that pain cream any day. If you want to give out samples, give them away. You should have those little discs that if any of you bought the crown jewel, you get those little things, little pity discs, and you can get them from uh, sample jars, really little, where they can rub some pain cream on them maybe one or two times. You know, once they rub it on themselves, they're going to get a reaction. So my thing is give out those samples if you're going to give them. But if you give out any samples, you always get information. Bernadine says, I never leave home without samples. I am in total agreement. I sell, I have samples, I have product, I have everything in my bag, my goodie bag, so I can take care of everybody's needs but give them away to new customers. That's what Bernadine says. I put some of my stuff in there. So let me tell you, tell you what she said. I never leave home without samples. I sell samples, but give them away to new customers. That's right. I had a couple of people yesterday that got a, um, um, what is it? How can I forget this? A phase three. And in that um, box, I also gave them a sample gummy and a sample of pain cream. Because guess what? More than likely, that's going to be something that they're going to be able to buy. So you always track what works. You know, every time you do something, you want to track that to see what you got on returns. And so I definitely know giving pain cream and maybe the one gummy sample away, not the pain cream, the feel, the ones I'm talking about that I put a little pain cream in. I know that's gonna give me a customer. I've been tracking that for years. That gives me customers. So that is a good source of using it. And I don't give anything away unless I get the information to follow up. Don't expect the person that you gave the pain cream to. 
Oh my God, this is ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But Lord, could you let me get through this training without being cut off? I'm going to just ask. You. But I never, you never want to give your samples out and not follow up. See, don't expect that person to follow up with you because it might, I mean, it might relieve them, but life gets in the way. But since you gave that person that sample and this is your business, always get the information and tell them that you're going to follow up with them. So they'll be expecting that call. So Bernadine says, I walk new people through creating a new customer account while they're in my presence whenever possible. My goal since starting with Kana a year ago is 10 customers a month. I now have over 140 customers. And you did it, you had a goal, but you had a system to get there, Bernadine. And I really am excited about your commitment. And that is what we wanna do, because guess what? Those customers will pay you. See, a lot of people are very, very comfortable in getting customers as opposed to business partners. But as soon as their confidence builds in that customer base, then it's going to definitely spill over into being more confident about inviting people into their business. So I commend you for having that goal, but you had a system to get it done also. And so that's how you could foresee your goal. I'm excited about your 140 customers because that's amazing. And just on that one income stream alone can be a very nice check. So Steph Taylor says, we hear you, but oh, sometimes it goes very well. I, I just don't know what's going on here. I really don't. My signal is strong and everything. So now let me also say that, uh, okay, Crystal Robinson, hey girl, my biggest way of getting new customers is through sampling the small circle containers of pain cream. I always get their cell phone numbers and follow up. That is right. Again, that is a great way to get new customers. Um, I was going to say, make a point earlier, Kent, and it was a good point. It was something really, really, really good in this industry that it's all saying old things, but all things work. If something works, I just don't try to fix it. I just keep on working it. But I talked about um, if you happen to be a coach, this doesn't apply for everybody, but I just want you to know, and here's something. If you happen to be a coach and you happen to scan uh, a person too, then, and you sold them a phase three, that would be, if you did that 10 times, that would be a thousand dollars. And I said, that would actually be $1,070 plus a hundred dollars in free product. So I wanted to make sure that that was done so that could, could set an example. So if you were a, some pers a person that said, hey, I don't want to, um, I, I'm not a coach and I'm not, so I can't get that scan or I can't get that um, coaching money, but I can get 10 customers, 10 customers, in a month, we'll still get you $300 plus $100 uh, in free product. So I wanted to make sure that that was possible and do it. Because just like that can be done in a month, it can be done in a week, and it can be done in a day. So we just have to remember to put the effort in front. So I was, I did, I don't want to ask you guys to do anything that I won't do too because I want to inspire. I don't just want to talk to get you motivated. I want to go out there and say, it can be done. And I did that this past week. There were 10 people that came into the business all from all over the country. And how did I do it? I posted everybody's results in the flat, flat belly lifestyle. Not just my own, but everybody's. So we're missing the boat. It's a good thing. People are more visual than anything else. And this is another time of year that this flat belly lifestyle is applying to everybody. 
you know, and what worked as soon as I introduced them to that, if I had conversation with them, whether it was over video or, um, or over messenger, over the telephone, whatever, I just had conversations with them, like trying to find out what's happening in their lives because you have to listen to people to convert them to being a customer or a distributor. You just can't, you know, it's not just, hey, buy my stuff. It's not like that. You want to listen to them so that you can overcome any objections that they have or you can upsell them. And several of those strangers that I met on social media, they were my friends, but I, don't, I really don't know them. Um, not with five, almost thousand friends. You just, you know, people, I don't, you don't know how you become friends with a lot of people, but you do. But the thing is, they see your posts and because of that, they ask questions. So by the time we got through with the fat phase three, they also got tinctures and pain creams or gummies. So this is a door opener for everyone, you guys. Okay, so Crystal Robinson, what? So can you all hear me now? Just put it in chat, anybody. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, you're there, Kathy. Awesome. I hear a voice. I said we're going to change this to a meeting so we can have interaction uh, on this call because I think people need it. So, guys, uh, I'm, we're going to get ready for our next Why Wakana. Do you want to have interaction? Was this training helpful for you? And I'm going to give you an assignment before we leave. Your assignment, your assignment for tomorrow is to everybody, post somebody. If you're not, if you don't have a before and after, if you have not participated in the flat belly lifestyle and you know someone that did and it's a ton of pictures on the flat belly lifestyle page, I'm gonna tell you one that is unbelievably great to use is Crystal Robinson's. You need to post it and say, look at what's going on with the flat belly lifestyle. See, that doesn't only help people make a decision because they might not make the decision today. They might have seen it. Several of the people that came on board this week with me have been looking at us for months. So it's not, it's about sowing the seeds. If you sow enough seeds, things are going to happen. And I know Willie Mooney has an excellent uh, photo of Gerald West. Guys, if you don't put this on there, I mean, I can't wait until they put it out there because everybody is going to say, I want to do this. So again, it, it helps when it's your picture, but when they consistently, and people are looking consistently, seeing flat belly lifestyle, that name is ringing a bell and it is being embedded. It's just like a commercial that people play all the time. You do it over and over and over. It gets in the subconscious and then like flat belly lifestyle. Everybody is doing it. Let me see what this is about. I'm telling you, that's what happens. So again, when I'm told anything in this industry, when I first came in, I'm co I was coachable. What works? Oh, that works. Let me do that. And so do that. Don't try to reinvent the wheel and see your finances change drastically for you and your family. So with that being said, guys, I will see you back here next week. 